Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can turn any SVG into a frame that you can use in Canva. So first you're going to want to start out with an SVG file. So any SVG will work as long as it is not in layers. You want a single vector SVG file and this is how it's going to look in your files. So it's going to have a little internet symbol and then it'll say SVG. But if you don't have SVGs, I'm going to show you a quick way you can create SVGs and that is with Inkscape. It is free to download and use and I'm just going to create a new document in Escape. Now I'm going to go to file in document properties. I'm going to turn off the page border. Each new file comes with a page border to help you design, but I'm going to turn mine off because I'm not going to be needing that for this project. Next, I'm going to go into Google and actually type in baby footprint PNG and search for an image that I think is going to work for the project that I'm going to be doing. You want to make sure that you use a, an image that has as few colors as possible. That's going to work best to create your SVG. So I like this one. There is some extra baby on board text that I'm going to remove later. But I'm going to go ahead and right click on this and just copy my image. And now I can just go back onto my Inkscape canvas and paste that onto my canvas. Now while the image is still selected, I'm going to go into path and I want to select trace bitmap. This is going to trace the image and turn it into a vector. I like to leave the settings just as they are. I want to make sure that single scan and brightness cutoff is selected. I'm also going to leave the brightness threshold at 0.45. You can change this up to 0.65. Sometimes that gives you a little better image. You can kind of play around with the settings, but I'm going to leave mine. Now, if you click update, it will show you a preview of the vector that it's going to create. So I'm happy with how this one looks. So I'm just going to hit apply and it's going to create my SVG. And the SVG will be on top. You just want to drag that off. And then I can click on the actual PNG and just delete that because I'm not going to need that file anymore. So now I have my SVG vector file. There is some parts in here I want to delete. So if I go up to the nodes tool, which is here on the left hand side of your screen, and it looks like this little arrow with some dots, I can hit down the shift key and drag a box around any points that I don't want to keep. So I'm just going to press the shift key and drag a box around all those nodes or points that I want to delete. So I want to get rid of this baby on board. And you can do this in sections if you want to. And I'm also going to get rid of one of these footprints. I only want one footprint for the project that I'm doing. So again, I'm just dragging a box while I'm holding down the shift key. And then I'm going to hit delete to get rid of any of the nodes that I have selected. So now I'm left with this single footprint. I'm ready to save this as an SVG. I'm going to go up to file and save as. And you can name this whatever file you want to and save it wherever you want to in your files. The important thing is you want to save this as a plain SVG and not an Inkscape SVG. So once you have changed that, then you can go ahead and click save. And now you're ready to go to the next step. Now we're actually going to fill our SVG with an image. So I like to go to a program called Figma. F-I-G-M-A dot com. And here you can just create a free account. And this program is free to use for what we are doing today. So once you're in the program, you just want to go to the design button up here at the top. And I want to make sure and go to my drafts folder. I'm not going to create a big project for this. I want to use the free version. So you just want to make sure and select drafts. And that's going to bring, bring up a blank canvas. And here we can go back in and select the Inkscape file, the SVG of the footprint we just created. I'm going to select that and just simply drag that on to my screen. Now you can see there's a couple blue boxes here. So I want to delete any boxes or any images that are not part of the single layer vector. So an easy way to do this is just go to the left hand side of your screen. You can see here on the left, there is a little eyeball icon. If I click that, 
um, I can see which one of these layers is the one I actually want to keep. So you can see there, that is the layer that I want to keep. This other um, layer up here on the top is the one I want to delete. So I'm just going to click and hold this layer of the footprint and drag it all the way to the top of the layers panel. Now I can select the any other layers that are included with this file and just delete those. You want to make sure that any extras that came in with this file are deleted before you go to the next step. Now once all of the other extra um, trash is deleted, I can go to back to my footprint and I'm actually going to fill this footprint with an image. So if you look here on the right side of your screen, you will see a box called fill. If you click on the solid color box, there are several options. You can fill this image with a color or a gradient, but for this purpose, you want to select the image icon. Once you click that, your vector is automatically filled with an image. Now you can go over here and flip this however you want to. That's not important. The important thing is that your image is now completely filled inside of your vector. And now we can go over here to the right hand side of the screen and export. If you hit the plus sign, you want to go to change your file type. You don't want to export this as a PNG, but you want to select PDF and I'll show you why in just a minute. And now you can just export your PDF and this is automatically going to download into my downloads folder. And now we're ready to upload this into Canva and create our frame. Now, once you're in Canva, you can create a canvas any size. So I'm going to go in over here to design a custom size, and I'm just going to select a 3000 by 3000 pixel size canvas. But again, you can use any size that you want. After you've done that, you want to go ahead and upload your design, your PDF that you just created in Figma. So I'm going to go here to upload, upload file, and then from there, I can select the file that I saved in Figma. So this is the one that I actually just created. I know there's a lot in here, but this is the one that I just created. You'll notice over here to the left of my screen, this is going to upload in your projects folder. So you want to go into your projects to retrieve your file. And once you're in there, I'm just going to click on that to place that back on my canvas. Now I'm going to resize it just a little bit so I can see what I'm doing just a little bit better. Now, once you have your image in there, you want to right click on your image and detach your image. And that's going to detach the image that Figma placed inside of your vector. And you can delete that. And amazingly, it's going to leave behind a frame that is in the shape of your vector. And I was so impressed when I tried this because now I can fill this frame with any image. I'm actually going to create a birth announcement card. So I'm going to go into um, a preset that Canva already has for birth announcements. And I'm going to select this first one um, and I'm going to customize this template. I'm just going to show you how neatly you can um, use these frames that you just created. This one already comes with a preset frame. So if I detach my image, I can go ahead and get rid of the frame that Canva has put in this template. So I'm just going to select it and delete that one. Now I'm going to go back into the canvas where I created the actual frame of the footprint. I'm going to right click it and copy it. And I'm going to paste that into this invitation or birth announcement template. So now the frame is in there. I'm going to take this same photo and actually um, put it in this frame. Now you want to use a photo that you're actually going to be using, but I'm just using this for um, this video. So I want to go ahead and move this image to the front position. So I'm going to move it to the front and I'm going to resize it to fit my frame just a little bit better. And you can see if I can drag this image over the footprint, it's going to pop that image right into this frame. You can rotate the frame or if you double click on the actual frame um, itself, you can rotate your image inside the frame. So I'm going to rotate this to fit in the frame just a little bit better. You can also resize it or drag and drop it wherever you want to so that your image fits your frame perfectly. 
until you're happy with it. So you can see how cute this little photograph turned out um, once that photo was dragged inside the frame. And I'm also going to move this frame back underneath the text um, so that I can see the text just a little bit better. But this turned out so great. So just to show you, if you go into Canvas Frames, you go over to Elements and then into Frames, and I type in Baby Footprint, there is no frames that are in the shape of a baby footprint. So if you cannot find a frame that you're looking for inside of Canva, this is the best way that I've found to create a custom frame that you can use in Canva. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful and you can go into Canva and start designing your own frames. If you enjoyed this kind of content, definitely leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. That way I'll know you guys are enjoying this. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you back again in my next video.